Hi, my name is Sam Dhanushekran and welcome to this Database Lessons video series. In this video, as well as subsequent videos, I'm going to talk about System Global Area in detail and the various components that make up System Global Area. I'm also going to give you examples of what happens when a read operation ha occurs or what happens when a write operations occur. So uh, these videos I would uh, stress as very important in the sense um, during my earlier stages of being a DBA it took a while for me to understand uh, this. Uh, I had to constantly go and uh, read and experiment to see how things worked. And uh, each and every time I, uh, you know, uh, dug deeper, I was so confused. So uh, I hope I uh, explain these things in a way that uh, these are useful to you. Okay. So, so we talked about SGA, which is System Global Area, and uh, SGA, of course, is made up of different components. And I'm going to start with a overview of what happens uh, during a basic operation. And then, uh, uh, don't worry, there is going to be a lot of videos on SGA. And I'm going to get as much deep as possible. Okay. So, when a data is accessed, from disk okay it goes to the database buffer that is how it starts okay let me use this blue pen so when a read operation or when uh, even a write operation happens before that you know the data has to be read to the buffer okay so from disk it goes to the buffer okay let's say it goes to this buffer and the current value is 1 okay so we read the data the data goes to buffer and what buffer is this this is database buffer This is database buffer. Okay, so database buffer is a component of SGA. Okay, so you read a data, you re you read from disk, and then the block goes and sits in database buffer. Okay, so now we do a modification. Okay, we change this value from one got it so I do an update right and then I change this value okay so how do I change this value okay I mean I don't do anything special to change this value what I do is when I read right let's say I read you know select uh, some column from table 1 right and it brought the blocks from the table and then it copied and uh, okay let me give an example okay it brought the blocks okay there are two blocks okay and one block uh, for just uh, it has like multiple rows but you know I'm just for simplicity sake let me just uh, visualize this as one value right one okay and then in another block it has like the value three okay okay so Right now, it read and value 1 and 3 are stored in the database buffer. Okay, so now I do an update on the table, okay, which modifies just uh, the block 1 where the value 1 becomes 2. Okay, so I modified it. Okay, so when I modify the value, right, Oracle doesn't modify here 
directly. It modifies the value in the database buffer. Okay, that's the first step. Right? So it modified this particular block with the value 1 and it put the value 2. So what happens is this 1 is removed. Okay? And value 2 is stored. Okay? And correspondingly Oracle also makes a note of this in a another section of SGA that's called redo log buffer okay what it does is it notes that the meta information of how the value has been changed so it notes in its own language that the value has been changed to 2 2 for this block the value has been changed to 2 okay so right now the data is uncommitted so the data is here in the memory again the data is there in the memory but in a different section called redo log buffer but both of these sections belong to SGA okay the important thing is the data is still uncommitted okay so now we issue a commit okay when we in a sense the session which modified issues a commit so when that happens what happens is this right me use a different pen this gets written to disk in the sense how the value was changed that meta information gets written to disk here disk means it gets written to redo log it gets written to redo log files. So that's the overview of how data gets written. Okay. And uh, this is just a start. So I'm going to go as much detail into that. So let me repeat. Data gets read to the database buffer and when a process modifies the data the data gets modified here and the meta information so I'm not saying the value right how it got changed right and that information gets goes here so that when a commit happens okay this gets written here but this data doesn't get written to the the real data files okay this gets written to the read log but this doesn't get written to the real data files yet okay why I'll come to that later because this method is used by Oracle to achieve maximum performance as possible okay thank you for watching